Hi there. Welcome back to the video series of deploying production ML models with TensorFlow Serving. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. In our last episode, we showed you how to start a TF Serving model server and send post requests using the command line tool curl. While this is interesting, we still need to learn how to send requests using different programming languages. So in this episode, we're going to discuss how to send REST and gRPC requests to TF Serving with Python and C++. Remember in our first episode, we mentioned that your client app can send REST or gRPC requests to TF Serving, and TF Serving will send back the corresponding responses. It turns out that there are many clients in different languages and platforms you can use. Let's first take a look at a very common one using Python to send REST requests. To demonstrate this, let's first download the ResNet model from TensorFlow Hub and start TF Serving with Docker. Once the model server is up, we can check out the model metadata in this link. Here, we can see the input tensor name, data type, and shape. It also shows the output tensor shape, data type, and etc. It's usually a good practice to double check the metadata before you start sending requests to TensorFlow Serving. Since this is an image classification model, we first download a test image file in our Python code. Then we normalize the image tensor and dump it into JSON. Now we can send a post request to the TF serving endpoint. Lastly, we can get the prediction from the response. That's it. It's pretty straightforward, right? Now let's move on to gRPC. gRPC is a modern open source high performance remote procedure core framework that can run in any environment. It can effectively connect services in and across data centers with plug boost support for load balancing, tracing, house checking, and authentication. Please check out its homepage to learn more about gRPC. gRPC is open sourced by Google, and for our purpose, it is an alternative way to send a prediction request to the TF Serving backend. Let's see how we can leverage gRPC in our Python code. We download the image and normalize the input sensor as before. To send gRPC requests, we need to create a client stuff which requires a channel and the server information. In addition, we specify our model name, signature name, and input tensor in our prediction request. Now we use the stop to send a request to TensorFlow Serving. Once we get the response back, we can extract the output tensors. So this is how you would use Python to send a gRPC requests. But it is actually a little bit more involved than this. We skipped it part to generate the client stop code because TF Serving has done it for you. In general, to use gRPC, we need to define the remote service using .product files. Then we can use gRPC compiler to generate the client stop code, which can then be integrated into your client. This workflow applies to any programming language that gRPC supports. This is how our prediction service .proto file looks like. It has dependencies on a number of other proto files, including some in TensorFlow repositories. If you want to regenerate the client stop code yourself, you can install gRPC IO tool package first and run the command to do so. Make sure you clone TensorFlow repository as well, since we depend on some protos from TensorFlow repository. After the client stop code is generated, we can import them and create a gRPC request. I highly recommend reading gRPC documentation to learn more about generating gRPC client stop if you are going beyond Python and C++. Lastly, let's take a look at C++. C++ is actually very similar to Python. We specify our model name and signature name here. Then we read the image and use the client stop to send the request. After we get the response, we can extract the output sensor. Note that here we did not generate the client stop code either, since TensorFlow Serving repository has done that for us. 
So we just showed you how to call TensorFlow serving backend using Python and C++. What if you are not using Python or C++? Not to worry. We have recently released a new set of code labs covering web, Android, Flutter, and iOS frontends. Feel free to check them out. So to summarize, today we walked you through how to send prediction requests to TensorFlow serving backend with Python and C++. You can find the complete code in the example folder of TensorFlow Serving repository. In our next episode, we're going to learn how to customize TensorFlow Serving. Please stay tuned. Thank you. <laughs>